The ball is not the only thing that's going to drop going into the new year. It's your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. And let me open with a couple of weather maps for you, colorized for your convenience. I think it'll be really clear what kind of a trend we're on. Both of these maps show temperatures compared to average. Now, this one reflects conditions on Monday of this week. And now, voila, Thursday, New Year's Day. Hmm. That's going to be a shock to the system, isn't it? Considering those Christmas Day temperatures that we had in the 70s around the Smokies. I mean, it was 50 on top of Mount Leconte on Christmas Day. A couple more maps for you for traveling this holiday week. Uh, this one shows expected precipitation Thursday and Friday. And clearly it's out of the Smokies by then. It's still wet to the east and the southeast. This map covers Saturday and Sunday. If you're traveling to or from the Smokies after New Year's, expect some snow in the typical Great Lakes areas and rain once you get south of Atlanta. But it looks okay around here for New Year's Eve activity. So let's talk about that because, of course, we've got that covered. Visit MySmokies.com. Uh, first of all, the annual ball drop and fireworks in Gatlinburg, huge party that takes place on the historic Nature Trail's intersection with the parkway. Just look for the Space Needle. You'll know you're in the right place. Here's a more recent tradition, the third annual New Year's Eve celebration at the island in Pigeon Forge with a midnight ball drop and spectacular fireworks show. You can still visit Smoky Mountain Christmas. Dollywood is open 11 to 9, including New Year's Eve and New Year's Day through Sunday, and then it'll close until March 19th. And your favorite Christmas shows will still be at it this week, too, including on New Year's Eve before things wrap up. So check our Things to Know section for all the scoop on the shows at Country Tonight, Dixie Stampede, Lumberjack Feud, Smoky Mountain Opry, Thomas Kincaid's Christmas of Lights. That's the uh, new show in the Hatfield and McCoy's Christmas Disaster Dinner Show. You can see that 73 on Monday is the peak of the week. Low 60s Tuesday, mid 50s by Wednesday. Thursday, we're just a little above average. And then finally, after almost the entire month of December being above it, we're below it. Typical temperatures this time of year in the mid 40s were just below that for the first few days of 2016. Rain is a good bet on Monday, early and late on Tuesday. Then again on Wednesday, and that should be it. It might be kind of cloudy for the activities for New Year's Eve, but I think the temperatures will be mainly in the mid-40s and no big storms. Just big celebrations that we're glad you're going to be a part of when you visit MySmokies.com.